Hey guys, and welcome back to the Sonic Adventure Commentary. We are now starting up the final story, well, the final character of, um, Sonic Adventure. This is E-102 Gamma. And actually, this story is actually one of my favorites in the game. It's actually my fourth favorite behind, uh, Sonic Tales of Knuckles. And it's, it's actually, the, I think, the redeemable quality of the second half of the game. Look at me! I'm your brilliant creator, Dr. Robotnik! You're the second of my E-100 model machines! Eggman's animations here are extremely stock. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. E-102! Codename Gamma! Gamma! Gamma. Yes, <laughs> well said, Gamma. That's right. And this is actually a rather interesting uh, concept, I guess you could say. You're playing as one of Eggman's uh, robots. I didn't actually... That's uh, something that, that was kind of... I, I wasn't expecting when I first played the game. But yeah, uh, Gamma. Gamma is uh, probably the slipperiest to control out of all of the characters. Because he's... He, you're, you're, you're playing as a robot. <laughs> Beta is there practicing. Enter Gamma. You're not as advanced as I never understood you, this. Why would he make the second one less advanced than the first one? I never got that, to be honest. But it was yeah, ironically Gamma's first stage is final egg. And it's a joke. It's pretty much just to show you get you into Gamma's gameplay. Gamma is like a shooter kind of game. You basically you hold down the the, uh, the shoot button and you can lock onto targets. Basically, what you want to do is you you got to shoot stuff and there you have a, these are the only levels where you actually have a time limit, like a noticeable time limit. Basically, you gotta you shoot that you basically shoot things to get your timer up. And actually, in these sections, I think uh, the game actually controls pretty well. Uh, each level has an objective, like this one was shoot the Sonic doll. <laughs> But this is an interesting concept, and I actually... I wish they would have fleshed this out a little more. Like, maybe scrapped big, big Story and... put more time into Amy's and uh, Gamma's story. To be honest, I thought that would have been more interesting. Because I like the shooter idea. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, they would flesh this idea out for Sonic Adventure 2, although I'm not as a big a fan of it in that game as I am in this game. Good job, Gamma. I didn't think you had what it takes. Wait, I completely under underestimate your own robot, Eggman. Of course, you like this one. This one's the one you colored after yourself. Eggman's like moonwalking right now. Yeah, he's literally moonwalking. <laughs> see, there's a reason why we don't actually see Eggman's walking animations much in this game, because they're not good. In the slightest. Beta. Yeah, Gamma's story has the most boss fights, but they're all pathetically easy. So anyways, here's uh, Gamma's first playthrough. Well, first boss fight, um, Beta. Or E-101 Beta. Anyways, ba basically all of Gamma's boss fights work like this. You aim, shoot. <laughs> aim, shoot. Um, I, I think one of the, mo the most underused uh, things they could have done with uh, Mission Gamma's gameplay is the boss fights. Because they are probably the worst aspect of Gamma's. Just because they... They're so easy. <laughs> like, there's no skill whatsoever. Like, most of them, you don't even have to move. You can just shoot. Gamma does all the work. Uh, kind of sad thing, though. Uh, Gamma's, Gamma's playthrough is ridiculously short. Like, it's the shortest one in this entire uh, story. 
actually. I, I, I finished it in two parts. Bigs can be shorter if you're good enough at his fishing, but um, Gamma's is short just by context. Gamma's also starts the latest in the story. Like, I'm pretty sure so at this point, like... I'm pretty sure at this point Eggman's already given the four Chaos Emeralds to, uh... Uh, what's-his-face, uh, to Chaos. And we're already at around this point, because this is around the point where the Egg Carrier first launches. At least I think. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. But Gamma's playthrough actually probably goes the longest after the Egg Carrier crashes. I believe. I love this piece of uh, music right here. It only appears at this one point in the game, but it's just so grand and like awesome for who it's portraying. I forgot what it's called. It's actually got a really interesting name. Something about Dr. Eggman, pretty much. Aha! Testing one, two, three. <clears throat> Yes, Eggman, that is how I set up my audacity for all my videos. It's a race to see who can be the fastest. No, that's not. That hasn't happened yet. Very unique. Very unique. I command you to locate this frog immediately! Ah, they're out of order. <laughs> four, four, you, you, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> it's interesting, why, why was Beta the only one that got the double cannon modification? All these ones are stock. Unless they were based off of Gamma because Gamma was more powerful, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, Beta's, I mean, uh, Gamma's still the best in the game. Yeah, don't, don't mind the giant robot police officers, uh, he's just gonna be doing his own thing. But anyways, yeah, get, entering Gamma's first real level, we've got, um... Emerald Coast. No, no, not the casino. Emerald Coast. Yeah, get in, t in tight spots, uh, Gamma's kinda hard to control. <laughs> Screw you, Ga Gamma goes where he wants. And we have Emerald Coast. Now in big open areas, I think Gam Gamma plays a lot better. Basically shoot everything. Keep that timer up. Although in this first level, the timer isn't really a big concern. <laughs> and there's still just something funny about uh, Gamma going through springs. He doesn't go through loops, though. <laughs> no gamma loops. Although that would have been funny with his, like, wheel mode. But yeah, we can't go through the loop there, so we actually have to go this way. Level diversity. Shoot everything in sight, get that point bonus up. Well, time bonus. Although, unfortunately, this level is rather short, because Froggy's right there. Frog capture, Frog capture complete. complete. I like Gamma's voice, too. I don't know who the actor is, but, um... I think it's, like, Steve Brody or something in the, uh... in the credits, but, um... I like his voice direction for this. Much better than the, uh, Sonic X rendition, where he had, like, this really high, nasal, squeaky voice. And it just sounded bad. Like, this really stereotypical robot voice. And why is Tikal bringing... Gamma back here. He's a robot. I, I get it. We gotta give the player backstory, but still, what is the robot gonna say? Must determine location. Although I do love this line. Accessing data. Gamma. I love the robot characters in the Sonic games. They have the best lines. Gamma and then Omega later from Heroes. They just no data found. Should unknown. unknown. 
was a problem. a problem. I love that line. It, it's, it's the voice direction the guy's going with. He's got, like, no emotion in it, which works for the fact that he's a robot. This presents a problem. Oi. Make them shut up. This one's probably the most interesting, too, because this is one of the few where Tikal actually directly acknowledges the person she brought back. That rippling effect is supposed to be chaos, by the way. No, don't go any closer. Oh, but I want to run them over. <laughs> so annoying. Just kidding. I don't really have any problems with the chows. They're an interesting uh, distraction. I'll give them give them that. Did you notice the presence guarding these children? Gamma has no idea what she's talking about. She probably has less. He probably has less idea than Big did. But again, he's also a robot. He doesn't even have a heart at this point yet. Even I was surprised the first time I saw him. Now my father is trying to take their sacred home. It seems his heart is closed off to us all. My true hope is I do like the backstory elements. They're like they're trying to give this give a little backstory to some of the stuff that's going on in the game, but at the same time, the, these just feel kind of redundant. Some of them, and I think they're they're out of order too, which is kind of confusing. Like, to technically play this game in, like, chronological order would be very confusing. Oh, here's the real one. My frog is the right one. Oh, and we're now on the egg carrier somehow. That one is not even green. Or that one. Ah, dummies, 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 dummies! None of you got the right None of those are green. Hey. Eggman, did you just like give give up on all of the ones after Gamma? You know what the best part is? Eggman absolutely like Gamma is like his favorite robot. He has no idea that Gamma is going to betray him later on. Spoiler warning, we've, we've seen Amy's playthrough, we know he, he gives in. So not really a spoiler. Yeah, so this, this takes place right before the scene with Amy, so Amy's been captured at this point. This is a cutscene, by the way. Is this the one? So now we get to see what's in this door. That's the wrong door, by the way. <laughs> and it's Beta. He's being modified, it appears. He looks freaking badass. I actually do like Beta's redesign. It's pretty cool. Beta. And he's actually the best, pretty much the best robot after this anyways.
Yeah, that wasn't the right room. This is the wrong room. <laughs> yeah, you said it. <laughs> you said it, Gamma. Anyways, yeah, we, we, the room we wanted to go in was this one, which is the cell room. Can Gamma play the mini game? No. All right. Uh, it, one issue there. Amy's beating the mini game. We haven't let her out yet. I mean, I get it. Programming wise, it doesn't really matter, but it just bothers me. Attention to detail, kind of thing. There's a chow egg in that cell. Am I gonna get it? Probably not. I don't actually I don't actually play with the chow that much in this game. Go away. I did use the chow garden in um Adventure 2 more just because it's it's actually well designed. No way. But yeah, this is pretty much the same exact cutscene. Although Gamma <laughs> Gamma's a little bit more badass in this one. Or at least trying to be. Why not? None of your business, why not? I want to know why you want it. Data unavailable. You don't even know? This is... Sonic Adventure is one of those weird games where the, uh... Where the voice acting actually progressively gets better throughout the game. Just because they've got, had got better... They've gotten better at doing it. Like compare Sonic's voice acting in the in a in um his playthrough as opposed to uh, Tails' playthrough. It's just better. I actually think Ga uh, Gamma has one of the best voices in the game, and just in terms of the voice direction. But I think it helps also that he's playing a robot. And he really doesn't have to put any like soul or emotion into his acting for it to work. And I do like Dean Bristow as Eggman. I think his performance is really good. Really hammy, but but it's really good uh, for what for for the time, I guess you could say. Um, I like Ryan Drummond as Sonic. Tails isn't going to have a good voice actor until, uh, Colors, so... <laughs> That's my opinion on Tails. Although, I, I don't think the kid in this game, uh, Cory Bringus, is that terrible. He does an okay job by the end of the game, although his acting is still pretty bad. I don't mind Amy's voice. I think it's she's, this, this particular Amy is the least annoying. Well, actually, no. I'll give Lisa Ortiz credit for from the four kids guy. She was she was all right as uh, Amy. I think Amy's current voice is the most annoying, to be perfectly honest. John Saint John as Big is just hilarious. Seeing as that guy's got um got that guy's got such a great voice for uh what for the Duke Nukem games. It's just that he's he's basically just doing a retard voice for. Uh, for big is funny, just how how odd a change it is. And I actually do like the voice actor for uh, Knuckles in this game. I don't actually know, remember his name. Um, although I prefer uh, Scott Dreyer from uh, the next game, Adventure Two. He's got an unlimited supply of gold bowls, by the way. But anyways, yeah, we want to get um, a power up here, I believe now. Uh, I think this is the wrong room. Oh no, it's not. No, this is where we want to go to get the uh, next power up. Basically, all the jet booster is, it's essentially, it gives you a hover jump, which is very useful, although, yeah, the way the level design is in this game, it really doesn't get used that much. But it, it's nice, I'll give it that. 
Uh, there's one other power up you can get for Gamma in the egg carrier, but we don't have access to it yet. I don't think you can get it until after the egg carrier crashes. I see you got the jet booster. Report to the rear of the ship. Hurry! All right, and I'm pretty sure this is uh, he's getting called up to fight Sonic now. And the Sonic and Gamma version of this fight is downright hilarious. Just the way you play this game as Gamma. Alright, now I believe I'm... Or not. <laughs> okay, I think I'm checking to see if I can get the other power-up now, but I don't believe I can yet. Yeah, the room is currently uh, filled with water, so I can't even get in there. A cool thing about Gamma, he can't die by water. He can't enter water, so he just hovers over it. It's kind of cool. But anyways, yeah, time to go head up and fight Sonic. In the most hilarious boss battle ever. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all next time when we actually do that uh, in the Sonic Mature commentary.